Well, welcome to our video tour of Nitaset village here in the Norfolk Broads. We're going to be walking you around this village and showing you some of the cottages and houses that make this little hamlet up. It's a beautiful rural location, Nitaset, tucked in on the side, back end of Barton Broad, the river system that forms the upper river system on the Norfolk Broads limits road access quite extensively to the bridges that cross those rivers and keeps these lanes really really quiet. These cowslips are growing naturally here in this grassy bank. We're on a little country lane between Erstead and Neatishead on the Norfolk Broads. And these are just wildflowers that are just spectacular at this time of year. Quite easy to grow, seed themselves very nicely and what a fantastic display. A real natural version of the hybrid candelabra type primulas that we're hoping to show you over the next couple of weeks flowering here in Norfolk. But these, when you see them on country lanes, are just absolutely spectacular. This is the parish council stayed here at Neatishead, mooring for about 10 boats. Along this lane is the Nancy Oldfield Trust headquarters, making water activities accessible to disadvantaged and disabled people and a number of sailing boats in the front solar panels on the roof and access to the river through the back end of their garden and just getting to some of the older properties in the village now it's been extended out down towards the stave in the 1960s or 70s Violet Cottage looks to be late 20th century, sorry, late 19th century. Woodcote, old cottage with a modern extension put on the side. And there's quite a bit of infill with more modern builds which have tried to follow the contemporary aesthetic. Just entering the centre and older part of the village here. Back end of this cottage is marked the old saddlery. There's an award winning community village shop just to my left. And a run of cottages, some beautiful cherry blossom in front. In the centre of the village is the White Horse Inn, Free House and Brew Pub. Go down the street in a minute, which takes us just over a little bridge over the end of the river. It's a style cottage, a Georgian front on the one in between, and an old shop front on the Regency Boutique Guest House. And this is the Vitriol 1887. This is the Victory Hall 2007. Big building that greets you on the way into Neatishead. Modern contemporary construction forming the new village hall and car park. This house double fronted, George and the old laundry. Beautiful portico over the door. Nice red brick, leaded window still intact. Lost its thatch and it's now red pantile. A lovely little planting in front of this row of cottages. Tulips. Real interesting porticoed flint and brick wall. With parapets on the back here. A Dutch gable. Almost like an older property. Interesting architecture here. Beautiful old gateway and door here to Boswell's Cottage with some nice iron work on it. Lovely old doorbell. Original old 
pool mechanism, fantastic. Back of a Regency guest house, beautiful wisteria just about to burst forth. Little oaks going down to old converted barns. Modern building at the end, probably on the riverfront. Another beautiful old Georgian portico entrance to this old door that doesn't look as if it's used any further. March house. And here we are at the small bridge that goes over the very tail end of the river. Top end, Anita said. Some gardens coming down. Lovely white country house just in the distance there through the trees. Beautiful old farmhouse here. White painted, Georgian double fronted portico entrance. Cherry trees in the garden. And the old coach house has been converted into accommodation as well. There's a beautiful little cottage. I think it's two cottages actually just nestled in the side of this woodside going down to the stream. Lovely old almost wild gardens going into the marshland with daffodils beyond. Typical for Norfolk those dormer style windows. Just come round to the other side of the lane. Beautiful that's one of the largest magnolia Salanguias we've seen. Been damaged by the frost a bit this year so not looking as magnificent as it would normally do but what a tree. And they're obviously magnolia fans because this is a Another fantastic magnolia. This property's very new. Looks architect designed. 